Any thoughts on like buying criteria right now for operators that they should be considering? The, I mean, because we're all trying to buy, right? But man, I think all of us are like, we may wait a little bit, but we still want to buy I, I if think, we can. Yeah, one of one of the interesting things, we deal with with three main buckets of, of potential buyers. People who are uber wealthy, that have been around for a long time, will continue to be around for a long time. Overwhelmingly, those folks are saying, yeah, it sounds like a really good deal, Bob, but it's going to be cheaper in a couple of months. And then you have the folks who are very bullish on the future of New York, but they don't have their own money and can't raise it. And then you have the folks who are just very pessimistic about New York and they're buying all around the country and are not looking at, at buying in New York. To the uber wealthy folks, what I've been saying is, look, we have several asset classes where you can buy property for the same price per square foot that those buildings were selling for 20 or 25 years ago. This is the buying opportunity of a lifetime. Buy when nobody wants to buy, sell when everybody wants to buy. And I think if you look at the GFC, for instance, in New York City, Value bottomed out in the second half of 2010. But all the people that bought property in 2009 are so happy that they bought at the 2009 price. You can't time the market perfectly. And you'll only know that we're past the bottom, probably six to nine months past the bottom. And then you've lost the opportunity already. I think people are going to be saying four or five years from now, they're going to say, what the heck was I thinking in 2023, 2024? I should have bought everything in sight. And I really think it is a great buying opportunity. That sounds self-serving because I'm a, an intermediary that makes money when people buy and sell. But I really believe it. The office buildings trading uh, at $300 a foot, they were trading at $300 a foot 20 years ago. And I think if you look even in some multifamily buildings trading for $200, $250 a foot. That's unheard of. But I think it is a tremendous buying opportunity. You just you have to have capital and you have to have courage. If you have capital and courage, I think you can make some outstanding buys today.